Welcome to the game, Q. The hottest new releases that y'all should play. Cause there's nothing worse than getting a bad game. Game Q. Welcome to GameQ. I'm Jeff Keeley, and right now I'm inside the Gamefly warehouse where all your gamer dreams really do come true. There are thousands of titles behind me, and my job is to help you pick the best ones to put into your GameQ. Now, July is always a scorching hot month for games, and this month is no different. So why go outside into the evil sun when you can stay at home and bathe in the light of your console? Here are our picks for the top games of July in a segment we call Q Em Up. And there's the opening move. Mascots, cheerleaders, and yes, plenty of tailgating. And this crowd is going crazy. EA's NCAA football hits shelves this month, and this year's edition promises revamped animations and interactive crowds that give you a home field advantage. Dives! Touchdown! <laughs> Sid Meier's legendary PC strategy game leaps onto the consoles for Civilization Revolution. Yeah! Yeah! Relive history from the perspective of great leaders like Cleopatra or Julius Caesar and see if you can take over the world culturally, economically, scientifically, or just through brute force. Although it arrived on the PS3 last December, Gears of War fans on the 360 finally get to play Epic Games' latest arena-style action game. The 360 version of Unreal Tournament 3 includes five exclusive maps and a brand new two-player split-screen mode. Now if they could only get user-made maps onto the system. This August, the world's best athletes compete in Beijing, and Sega's given you a sneak preview with the official Olympics video game. 19.81 meters. With more than 35 events, you can try out the 100 meter dash, high jump, judo, kayaking, and yes, even ping pong. You can get a gold medal in ping pong? <laughs> The weapons-based fighter Soul Calibur comes to the next gen in Soul Calibur 4. And yes, you'll finally get to fight online. <laughs> also, look out for special Star Wars guest characters. Yoda on the Xbox 360 and Darth Vader for the PS3. You might just be renting this game twice. <laughs> if you haven't played those games by the end of the summer, you're going to be behind the curve. Now, in case you've missed some of the recent hits, here's a look at the top rentals at Gamefly in a segment we call Head of the Queue. At number five, don your plastic fedora with Lego Indiana Jones. <laughs> Making the top five again is Army of Two this month at number four. If this means I'm gonna put your lights out if you don't shut up. Third goes to a new entry, EA's first person shooter, Battlefield Bad Company. Grand Theft Auto 4 is still going strong, but has slipped to number two. Bloodline of the Dragon Ninja ends here. And the most popular game at Gamefly in June? Well, it's the samurai sword slasher Ninja Gaiden 2. Our time has come. And that's the top five games right now at Gamefly.com. GameQ's an interactive show, and we're on the internet, so email us. We want to hear your questions, and we'll answer them right here on the show. Here's the FAQ for the month of July. Daniel from Strasburg, Virginia asks, what do you know about Call of Duty 5? When's it coming out? Well, although it's not named Call of Duty 5, the next Call of Duty, World at War, is coming out later this year. But even though it runs on the Call of Duty 4 engine, World at War is set back in World War II, not modern day. With battles in the Pacific Theater, Activision is promising the first online co-op for the series and what they say will be the best flamethrower in video game history. If you have a question, send it right now to GameQ at Gamefly.com. And if you send us cash, it increases your chances of having your question answered on the show. That's it for this time, but for all the folks at Gamefly, I'm Jeff Keeley. Until next time, remember, keep that Q full. Welcome to the Game Q. The hottest new releases that y'all should play. Cause there's nothing worse than getting a bad game. Game Q.